What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmiles World. We're going to be adding a special player, secret player that you guys probably thought I wouldn't add, but we're going to try it out just for the basis of it. I actually saw this player um, during Weekend League and I had an idea of how I can utilize him. No, it's not Travis Kelsey. We just actually purchased him because he's going to be going inside of the set that we're going to need. Um, another player that we're going to need for the set is going to be Richard Sherman. And then we're going to go ahead and complete it. Yes, it's going to be Harold Carmichael we're going to be trying out. So pretty much what happened is I bought Sherman outright, I believe, um, because at that time I thought I was going to have some use for him. So what we're going to do is we're going to take away uh, that card real quick. And, um, you know, pretty much we'll just go ahead. We'll, we'll give him back the card in a second, you know, because we're going to get him back as a gnat uh, from the set. So it's not going to be that big of a deal. But it is a card that we're going to be trying out. We're going to remove... Uh, one of the what we could just actually add him as the slot guy and not even affect uh, the 49er chem. I guess we could do that as well. I know some of you guys might be suggesting that. Um, I just like to have the players already where they're supposed to be, but I can see um, how that could probably make more sense. Just add them into the side. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead, um, add the players to the set. We're going to get the two players back as Nat. We're going to put Sherman back. And then we'll just have another 90 that we can hang on to. Now, those of you guys that have been watching the channel for a while, you guys start to catch on to why I keep these gnats just there. Because as the series go on, that turns into coins. Those gnat cards go into sets that create coins for us. So that's a huge factor when you're trying to make sure that you're not overspending or, you know, pretty much giving EA all of your cash. You don't want to have to deal with that situation. All right, so we get the power up, we get Harold Carmichael. And, um, you know, I think his price was like 255 for this card right now at the time of this video. And like, I forgot how much for his power up, maybe like 45. So pretty much because we already had the Sherman, we only spent the 150 for, um, you know, the scary tall Travis Kelsey. And then we went and just got those other cards that go into the set. Now what we're gonna do is, the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna add Sherman back. Uh, just so that we don't forget because sometimes that happens and then if we need him in the game he's gonna absolutely suck and we're not gonna know why uh, because his rating is gonna be very very low so we want to make sure that, uh, that he's all set first so we'll go back we'll add the Nat card into his set and it doesn't really affect every anything else that's going on with his card um, I do have another 89 to 90 overall power pass but don't worry about that um, that's cool all right so everything else will be all set his speed will go back up to a 92 and he's pretty much where he at, 96 zone coverage, all that other good stuff right there. Um, even with that tear though, sometimes he does get dotted, but he's he's so big that if you throw the ball up, like, you know, right around where he is, he'll jump up and pick it. It's kind of weird because a lot of people don't jump, but he will be one of those cards that will actually jump up and intercept the football. So I'm not sure if 42-68 in training is gonna be enough. But we're going to see if that's going to work out for us right now. Let's go ahead and check out this um, this item binder real quick. We're going to take a look at what we just got under the recents. And then we're going to figure out how we're going to utilize everything else uh, with his card. So Harold Carmichael, we're going to start off over here. Let's see what's going on. Um, attributes. Okay, yeah, we already know that that's the lower level end. All right, what is the amount here? 49. Okay, so 49.54. All right, just as we thought, we kind of figured that EA wasn't going to let us off easy. So what's the best case scenario right now for training? For me, um, you can get 289s if it amounts to less than 120K. Let's go check out what's going on first, though. Let's go see what the prices are. If it's 60K about, uh, we should be good to go. Oh, his power went up to 89 and his car is OK. So look, he's going up in price right now. That's cool. I thought he was down to like 40 or 50 just a while ago, but... It is what it is. It's a limited amount there. So let's go over to 89s because 36 and 36, 7,200 as opposed to spending whatever. Okay, what is that? 88s? So 44 and 44, 88. Um, the 88 to 25. So that would be 5K for 88. That doesn't work out pretty well. What are the 89s doing? Let's go to program. Let's go. What are the veterans doing right now? What do you got? Okay, 53. So 100K. If we go 100K, about 106K for 7,200, that might work out a little bit, you know, decent for us. Instead of spending whatever, like the 70 for the 90, we'll get two of these right quick and just whatever, dude. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, you know, the, these these that I've been sniping, 
um, around the 50. I got some for like 40, like 45, 46. You can watch those veterans and see how it works out. But typically the 90s were going for like 70, 75. So that's like 140K as opposed to spending, you know, the 106 right here, getting 7,200 instead of the 5,000 for the 90. Just getting that bonus. Um, it, it pretty much, it helps me out. You know, it helps me out a lot uh, doing it this way because sometimes I don't even need the, you know, the other one. I can just get the one for the 3,600 and move on from there. So that actually works out pretty well for me. So let me go ahead and get this 7,200 training right quick. And then we'll go ahead and proceed to continue what we we're doing uh, with Harold Carmichael. Now, the objective is this. I know some of you guys are going to be asking, yo, G. Maya, are you going back to the G. Maya streak? Not necessarily. All right. That's not something that right now is my intention to do. But depending on how I run my schemes, I may have to do it that way. But it all depends. All right. We're going to figure that out together um, as we go along because I'm going to have to test it out both ways and see what's going on. Uh, but like I said, he physically looks... Uh, a lot bigger than um, the other players. You know, like how Jimmy Graham is a big, tall guy. He just looks bigger uh, than everybody on the field. So does that mean anything? No. Is he going to get picked off by a two foot squirrel? Yes. But if we can avoid that by doing different things, that's pretty much what we're going to try to do. Now, just keep in mind, he is a physical uh, chem receiver. So you need that 90 deep route run to go ahead and unlock the deep out stuff, uh, which I believe he does get right. So the deep in and the deep out, but they, they charge you two for that. I thought it was one for these idiots. See, that's going to be a problem. Um, you know, him getting it for two. I thought he got it for one. Route technician for three. We might be better off with that too. Um, that kind that kind of um, charging charging two for that kind of uh, hurts us a little bit. But um, we're gonna figure out. We're gonna have to do some math and figure out how we're gonna get rid of something else from another player. All right, that's fine. All right, so let's go now and do this. Okay, so he's a 91 speed. We have to add um, some things to this guy. All right, so we're not gonna give him a, we're not gonna give him that right now. Oh, he played for Dallas? Oh, cool. All right, we'll, we'll use Dallas. I just can't put an eagle on my team unless it's Lane Johnson because I have no choice. Um, play fake, we'll add that to him real quick. All right, let's do that. Come on, come on, come on, do that. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and give him Sprinter. All right, so we can max out his speed. I Like I said before, I didn't think, hold on, let me, um, we're gonna give him deep in. I'll give him deep in. We're just gonna take the ability off Julio. That's pretty much what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna take another ability off of the other guy, probably give Julio route apprentice and keep DK Metcalf with nothing on him. I think I've already figured out how we're gonna work it uh, just by talking about it right there to myself. Um, the adjustments are gonna be you know, relatively easy. So we're gonna take off the ability because right now we have route technician on Julio right so we're gonna take that off of him we're gonna give him something else I, I guess we could give him um, you know slot apprentice or something like that because that might be better suited for him he gets it for one because DK Metcalf doesn't get anything that we could you know pretty much use uh, for that situation uh, slot apprentice I think that that's what I think that this is what we should probably give him so that way we have an advantage to how we can really make him do certain things. But we're not gonna have him on the outside though. That might be a problem. Because if I leave him on the outside, that means we have to move DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf might have to play the inside slot position. All right, so yeah, we're gonna have to do it that way. I'm gonna try it like this, guys. I would like to give him deep in or deep out just to make sure that he can also moss. But we may not need to do that and it may give us a better advantage of giving him slot apprentice. So we're gonna do that and then make him be um, the outside receiver on certain plays. We're gonna take away the ability from Reggie Bush because we no longer need him to be doing whatever he's doing. So we'll take that away because uh, we had the backfield mismatch on him, but we're gonna run the three wide receivers in the sets the way that it's supposed to be done and not use him as a halfback in it unless it's necessary and then we'll figure it out. But with we're just gonna take that off of him for now. All right, so who, DK Metcalf, is actually gonna go into the slot right now. So let's do that, DK Metcalf. We're gonna put him in the slot, all right? We're gonna put Harold Carmichael. Um, let me let me put uh, Julio over here, because he's gonna be the out. And, and the way that I'm setting this up right now, guys, this is for um, tight flex. So you guys can kind of understand what I'm doing and where I'm gonna have these players. Um, we're gonna put, okay, so we're gonna put Harold Carmichael as a starter, okay, and we're gonna we're gonna leave him there 
we're deep in pretty much to kind of uh, help out the situation. So let's go here. We're going to go put, um, where is this guy at? Andre Johnson. We'll put him back in there. And like I said, the reason that I'm doing this and not adding him as a specialist and then putting him in is to just make it easier for me in the game. Because what happens is if I don't do that, um, it starts to confuse a lot of stuff. And then, you know, sometimes I just want to come out and put the guys where they're supposed to be and just hike the ball fast because it kind of gets people off their game. Um, you can see that we're still 50 or 49ers. Lockdown, play fake is all good. Sprinter is good. So we don't have much that we need to really, you know, worry about right now. We'll just go ahead and add, you know, Carmichael to get that deep in elite right there. And then that's pretty much it. Now it kind of gives us a different type of advantage when we run the tight flex. The bigger issue is this, though. We're going to have to be smart uh, when we start going out there and trying to moss dudes because he might not get the animation with just the deep in, depending on how, you know, we throw the pass. So now let's take a look at, you know, his overall numbers. Let's see what's going on with that. And then we're going to go ahead and I'll get some gameplays in and we'll figure it out. I'll let you guys know exactly what's going on with it. But I thought he would get it for one. He got it for two. That kind of throws it off. But we did have Rock Technician on Julio and we weren't really, you know, doing anything with it. So it doesn't matter. All right. So here he goes right now. 93 speed. He has that 93 Excel. He's 6'8". Medium route run 92. Short run 96. And a 90 deep route run. So we'll figure out how to utilize him. You know what I'm saying? And pretty much from there, um, you know, I'll let you guys know. But I wanted to try him out before I went to uh, Scary Terry just to give us something new to kind of figure out if it's even worth it uh, to go this route. So that's where we are right now. Um, you know, we're going to go, like I said, go ahead right now, check it out, see what's good with it. And then I'll get back to you guys, let you know what's up. But I think that this is going to be a pretty solid addition because it opens up more of what we can do offensively. Instead of just running tight flex, we can now put him outside and make people have to guard him uh, because of his size. So I'll get back to you guys with all the info regarding that. Enjoy your day. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.